Peebles made a good start at the gates in a bitterly cold afternoon with a strong gusty wind. After Preston Lodge had missed an early long-range penalty, the home side opened the scoring after six minutes with an unconverted try by Ian Chisholm. The coach had been supporting on the inside when Buster Davidson surged down the left wing, not the one he had been selected on, and took his offload before crossing close to the left corner. There was some similarity when Chisholm scored his second try 12 minutes later, but this time Davidson had burst down his own stand side wing before passing inside to fullback David Collins, who made a behind his back pass to his standoff, who raced in to score under the posts. Scrum half Donald Anderson added the conversion and shortly after kicked a penalty. This ended the scoring for the day, but the second half was keenly contested as the visitors from Preston Pans were much more proactive in the second half, after a rather passive opening chapter, while peoples were unable to translate opportunities into points. In the prevailing editions, which certainly caused some errors, both sides should be congratulated for producing a very watchable rugby match, which finished with the score Peebles 15, Preston Lodge 0. I'm absolutely delighted with the result and the defensive performance today for Peebles. We've spent a lot of time on our defensive mapping, on you know our full principles, and it's somewhere where you know, I've, say, I've said this week in week out that we've really struggled with, and the boys absolutely nailed it today. There was maybe only one occasion that PL really put us under pressure on our five metre line and we found solutions to it. But again, <laughs> it's not all singing and dancing for Peebles and it, and it never will be. We conceded 21 penalties today. 21 penalties to Preston Lodge's 10. And we, we really shouldn't be winning games when we're giving away that many penalties. And the game probably bounced to and fro in that middle third of the pitch for a long time. Um, but where we were really good was our counter-attack. Um, David Collins in the backfield he shows a lot of intent when he's running the ball back and he's able to get between defenders and, and free his arms and get offloads away and, and look him and Buster Davidson were quality in the counter attack and they they were able to feed me for a couple of tries with Donald Anderson kicking a penalty and that, that all came in the first half when we were playing against the wind when the second half came we, we lost Jay Coltman um, and he's our primary line out jumper before um, just before half time and our line out really suffered from there uh, I think we only won one or two out of maybe 10 or 11 in that second half and you know, Jay, Jay was a real source of pressure for PL as well he turned over a lot of ball you know, for, when we're conceding 21 penalties and if each penalty is an average of 30 to 35 metres that's a lot of yardage and Jay was really really good in and around disrupting their ball and transferring pressure back onto them big games from Ross Brown big games from Kami Pai big games from David Collins, Buster Davidson and, and the Harrison brothers in the centre. Our front row, they, they worked really, really hard. John Gray played the full game and, and he got through it fine. I think th there's a lot for us to work on discipline-wise because a lot of it was controllable. You know, things that we said to the referee, things that we said to the opposition, getting bogged down into a little bit of niggle that PL are really, really good at it's sucking you in and taking your attention away from the game. Delighted with the result and... Again, with, with Newton Stewart getting beat, it allows us to look up the way rather than down the way. And we go down there next week. We're excited about the trip. There's a big social planned and we, we're looking to, to build on a solid defensive performance, but fine-tuning what we're doing around the line-out and what we're doing on our strike moves and making sure that our discipline is squeaky clean when we go down there.